Hey folks, this is Johnny. Welcome to another Home Studio Trainer Show, and today we're going to take a whack at Audio Bend. We're going to show you how to do and use this uh, manually and using the actual um, Audio Bend option, uh, which kind of detects, not kind of, which it detects the transients automatically. And uh, then you can actually just go ahead and quantize it, just like MIDI. So if you guys could, I'd really appreciate it if you would be uh, become a member of the channel, or you can join my Patreon, or you can simply just like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I would really appreciate the help because it puts me in good standing with YouTube. So uh, let's go ahead, and, uh, and, and my room is very dark right now. I forgot to turn on my lights. All right, this is the uh, the the new temporary studio setup right here. It's um, it's not quite finished yet. I'm not sure if I want to switch this area with that area, but I have everything in one room now. So it's going to be interesting to see if I actually like this. All right, so uh, to move on to the actual subject here, um, we're going to be taking this bass line and we're going to be syncing it up to this drum loop. Okay, so here at the end, it's very slight, but it is off if you actually try to line up the transients here. So I want to fix this, and there's a really simple way to do it. Uh, there's two ways, actually. I can use the audio bend option, which is right here, audio bend. Hold your mouse over it. There we go. It says audio bend. And what this does is it pulls up a way that you can select your event. You can analyze it. You can choose the uh, you can choose the strength of the analyzing, so it, you, it'll automatically put in the bend markers per the transients, and then you can go ahead and quantize, and you can choose the quantize. Let's show you how to do that. I've selected my event. I'm going to say analyze. Do and it's going to go ahead and do its thing. There we go. So you can see it put a ton of bend markers. Well, we we don't need all that. So if you look up here, there's a threshold option. We're just going to go ahead and reduce that to kind of, you know, kind of where it feels the transients are. But, you know, I could go down this way and just do it basically. But this is the area over here that I'm concerned about. All right. So you can see here already that the bend markers are not lining up with the transients of the drums. And we want to fix that. So once you've actually chosen the threshold, and you've analyzed it and chosen the threshold, uh, you can actually choose the strength of the quantizing. We're going to go with 16th notes here. So I'm going to go ahead and do it 100%, and I want to see how it lines up with the drums. Ready? Apply. Boom. Okay, so now you can see everything is dead on. Everything here is dead on. Everything looks like it's lining up exactly with the transients on the drums. You can see here that these are a little bit red. That means it was stretched a little bit. You can see that some of these are actually more blue. Uh, those have actually been compressed a little bit to be a little bit quicker. And it looks like it actually adjusted at pretty much everything. All right, so let's see how this sounds now. There we go. So everything is lined up. So now there is another way to do this. You can do this manually. Since I kind of know where things are here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to and undo here. Just going to do a command C, command Z, command Z, Z. I'm just, there we go. All right. So we're back to normal. So now, if you don't want to use the audio bend, the automatic uh, option of audio bend, here's one of the things that you can do. You can select your event, go to the inspector. And if you look in the inspector, we can actually adjust this to be on or off. I actually have the fader turned off for this here. So you can go ahead and find the bend marker option. So what this is going to do, it's going to invert the event that you have selected. Now what we do is we are going to go to the audio bend tool, just the tool. So now if you turn off the snapping, you have free range. If I turn on the snapping here, 
you can see that it actually snaps and I don't want to do that because some of this stuff isn't snapping <laughs> so I'm going to turn off the snapping and I am going to just use the area over here and I am going to put a bend mark I'm just going to click a bend marker right here I'm going to click a bend marker right here just to line up I'm just doing this visually I'm not doing anything fancy it's like that so now the thing that I need to make sure of is that I have a zone now if I start moving these it's going to move everything over here I don't want any of this to move I don't want any of this to move past here so this is my zone here and then I don't want uh, I, I'm going to put another marker here so this outside marker and this outside marker is my zone in the center and these when I move these only the areas inside of this zone that I've created will move so now I want to take this and I'm going to line this up here I want to take this and I want to line this up here and I want to take this and I want to line this up here now the other thing that I could do if I control Z and move them back I can turn on the snapping now bam 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 there we go so now let's see how my track sounds go back to the arrow tool here we go. perfect so now the I think the most important thing if you're going to be using the audio bend tool the most important thing to do is create the area that you want to move and the so anything outside of this area nothing else will move and of course here there's no audio left but I just put that there to create the zone and now anything that you move within here is the only thing that will be adjusted by moving the bend markers all right there that's uh, that is really the uh, the quickest way to sync something if you have a very complex baseline or any kind of an audio track with a lot of transients using the automatic might be a little bit more difficult because it is going to put a lot of bend markers in and you're going to really have to kind of pinpoint you know what you wanted to adjust and what not if you have a complicated baseline but only a couple of areas that need to be adjusted it's just as easy to do this manually and you can put the bend markers in you can use the snap option or you can just do everything by sight and just make sure that everything is lined up where you want it to be lined up and there you go so there is a very very quick <laughs> quick and dirty breakdown of using audio band whether it's the automatic option this one right here audio band or just using the tool and just doing small portions of your audio track i hope you guys found that helpful and i will see you all in the next video